Hey, hey, what's up everyone? I got another box for you guys from Sergey SDS Custom. He has sent me a uh, spool container holder thingy majiggy. Like, uh, you guys see these right here? Like, some of them come in these plastic cases, but if you guys are gonna go travel, these might not be the perfect things to uh, bring with you guys, because you never know, man, things could get smashed. So he sent me one, and I'm gonna show you guys that. And uh, he also said he'll send me some other goodies. So uh, let's see what we got here. By the way, here goes some more stamps from uh, uh, Ukraine. All right, so we got another box in here. All right, and this box is taped up too. All right, let's see what's up. Wow, dude, he was not playing. He's hooking me up. Dude, that's a lot of stuff. All right, we're gonna look at those later, but we're gonna start off with this guy, because this is the cool thing that I was talking about. Look at that, SDS Customs. They even branded this aluminum case. Definitely, definitely some strong case. And uh, guess what guys, time's up. I gotta go, baby's crying. We'll continue this later. All right, all right. Sorry for that weird cut, everyone. When the baby wakes up, you know, daddy duty calls. But now I am um, recording in the evening. And here we are, we're back at this little spool case. And this is a great spool case because it's aluminum. And um, as you see, I have a, uh, a case here. I don't know what brand this is. It doesn't really say, but I was actually buying uh, a spool, a um, Rain Studio spool for my Tattula. And they sent me a raw one. As you see here, this is not for a Tattula. But uh, yeah, you know, these things right here, although th this is hard, you know, sometimes you get some of those on eBay or whatever, right? And it's, it's pretty terrible. Uh, I like the chameleon uh, spools, but I don't like their case. Sure, it comes in very nice, but it's very bulky. And uh, I feel like because the way that it's made, here, in fact, let me bring it to you guys so you guys take a look at it. Damn, look, look how big this thing is compared to this guy, compared to that guy, all right? So yeah, let's just open this up. Don't forget that this is just cardboard. It has a nice, uh, you know, um, foam here and everything, keeping this in here. But, you know, if you're gonna actually carry this with you and go fishing and swap spools, likely this will get wet and then your case is broken, all right? So yeah, it comes in nice for shipping, but technically this thing is useless, right? This is still good, but again, it's still plastic. I could just squeeze it ready, just a little bit, right? It could get crushed, who knows? I'll tell you what, I was in Hawaii, I was fishing and I fell a few times before, and I bust my butt and I also got my back protected by my book bag, but you know, I smashed my uh, tackle box and everything. Imagine one of these spool things just breaks and you just smash the whole thing. That's bad, which is why this is pretty cool. So if you guys do a lot of spool swapping while you guys go uh, on a fishing trip, especially those big expeditions, you may want to bring extra spool already lined up or maybe you want a different spool to have a you know, different weight for different lines. I don't know, you guys uh, do your own thing. I do my own thing, right? I like to have different spools with uh, different uh, line diameters, okay? So this is really neat. Aluminum casing, and yes, I just put this guy in there just to be, uh, just, just to test it out. While I was away, I was actually doing a little bit of work. I reviewed everything in the box so I could streamline this video for you guys. But anyway, this thing comes with these foam right here. Comes with another foam right there that has one hole in there so you can put your, you know, your spool in there. And it fits perfectly fine. Okay, you just put that in just like that. And so far it doesn't look like, it yeah, it doesn't look like uh, it, it will get, cause any issues here. I'm, I screwed this down uh, pretty much all the way earlier. As you see, I'm actually just going very softly and it doesn't look like there's any restriction that's from the top. I just feel the, um, the threads are just getting tight, so that's good. That is very good. So I'm excited with this. I can't wait uh, to have this in my bag with a spare spool full, uh, filled with uh, whatever line I need. All right, let me jump into this box of goodies. And yes, I did open some up. I wanted to, uh, again, streamline this video. So let me just take out every goodies here for you guys to see. First thing first, let me show you guys some of the tools Sergey have gave me. First, this is a bearing checker. You guys put your bearings on there, spin it, and all these notches are supposed to fit a specific size, the inner diameter. So um, 
Let me bring out a similar one that I have from Roro. Just a little bit different. As you see, the SDS one has way more uh, different sizes. So it's pretty cool. Uh, this one's shorter too, so it's easier to pack away, which I like. And then he gave me a pin puller, which is nice too. This looks pretty heavy duty. I have some cheap ones before. And um, let me pull this out, take a look. Uh, take a look. The threads are pretty thin, uh, but it's definitely better than some of the ones I have bought on eBay before. Let me get it focused. It looks heavy duty. So there's two sides to this. This guy here is to help you guys push the initial pin. All right, when it's lodged in there very tight, you don't want to use the thin side because you don't know if that pin is stuck. And if you use this guy here, likely this may bend and um, then, you know, you don't have a tip anymore, but it came with two extra spares. And I think if I'm right, you would just take a pliers and just yank this out and shove in a new one. But yeah, you will use this, this, uh, this thicker side just to pop your pin first into the spool, right? Then you take this back out and use the, the pin side. Come on, Jimbo, be faster than that. And then push the pin through the remaining part of the hole. Okay, very simple. Now I'm gonna put this on the side. Um, let me just bring this guy up here. Yeah, I got some of these too. This one is definitely a lot uh, better than some of the ones in my past because this one here, let me just take this one out here. So it's about the same, same size. I looked uh, look at them side by side. This one here, as you can see, they put uh, something inside there, right? It's probably a different material, probably stronger than aluminum so that it doesn't strip as easy. But uh, I have a feeling that this probably just came from a, a lot of the cheapo ones and they just retrofit something in there to uh, salvage th their bad products. But uh, you know, this is still good. I, I've used this a few times already. It's so far, it haven't broke yet. So I'm just gonna you know hold my tongue on that. But everything else looks similar. Look at that, see? But again, this looks a little heavy, heavier duty and it's shaped a little different. So it'll be interesting. I'll see uh, if this fits the rest of my other spools in the future. Anyways, uh, let's move on. A bearing box. This is pretty cool, okay? And this is a plastic case and it has a magnet. And this case looks like it's from Momo because it says the studio of Momo. And is that Momo? Hey, Momo. But yeah, magnet, magnet. I know um, China have a lot of in fact, actually, let me just bring this out for you for a second. Like a lot of case, plastic case, you know, it's one of these right here where it goes click, right? Eventually the plastic will wear out and you know, it's a useless case. So this is actually pretty cool having magnet. So you'll never need to worry about um, a case breaking like that. And I got two bearings in there already. In fact, I'll bring them out right now so you guys can see. But before I do that, these were the pins I was talking to you guys about earlier for the pin puller, okay, if I need to replace it, boom. Comes with two extra. Thank you, Sergey. Very thoughtful, totally thoughtful. I like that guy. All right, let me, let me pull this, uh, these stuff out here. Doop, pop. All right, these two right here, let's talk about these next two things, which is pretty cool, all right? So Sergey, in, th in fact, I'll bring this one out here too, okay? Sergey gave me an entire Tattula 100 kit. And these are full ceramic micro bearings. And they have a, a sleeve on it, as you see, so it can fit the actual uh, reel itself. But it's, it is full ceramic, so it's salt water, as the bag has stated. Is it here, this one? Nope, not this one. This one right here. Full ceramic spool bearing BFS salt water type. So I guess he expected me to do some salt water fishing since I'm in New Jersey. Maybe I should, <laughs> but you know, I have the chameleon spool, so I'm a little bit scared to take that guy in salt water. So I might have to find another spool for my tattoo, but um, that's a different chat for a different video for another day, but I want to do this. Okay, let me spin it one time by the mic. It spins really well. Put this guy back in here and then let's test the smaller one. Oh yeah, it hums. I really like the ceramic noise. Like people say it's noisy, but I mean, a lot of people like noisy reels in the first place. Like people like that DC noise. I like ceramic noise, okay? Mm, that's just me. But anyway, yeah, this is pretty cool. I guess I'll be upgrading my tattoo for the second time. Uh, I gotta change it to these guys here. And then I have a ton of these small, small uh, bearings here. I guess I gotta figure out where these 
a fit, but they're all stainless steel. Okay, so I think it, it could be the you know the the little uh, uh, the T wing for the thing to move uh, back and forth. Perhaps even the handle. I don't know. I, I should ask uh, Sergey see what uh, what these are for so that I could install it properly. But that's pretty cool. I never tuned a reel other than the spool itself. So you know having bearings replaced on the reel itself that'd be really neat but yeah i'm, I'm really curious what these are for hopefully it's not just the knob and it is for like the that little um worm gear thing for the the t-wing system that'd be very cool but uh stay tuned for that let me figure out what this is for and uh i'll be messing around with a upgraded tattoo soon and then of course i gotta show you guys sergey again with his handsome smile and his thumbs up this time let's see what he has given me from fanatic Always a fanatic hook. This time it's a two alt. I like the very micro ones that have he has given me. He given me a, a size one before and a size two, I believe. And those are super duper tiny. So if you guys are into looking for those very tiny um, hooks for your bait finesse, try fanatic. It looks it looks pretty good. It looks pretty sharp. And um, yeah, I'll definitely make use of this. So uh, thank you, Sergey. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I want to thank you, Sergey, once again for this nice spring care package. And uh, yeah, I hope you will sell a lot of these guys here because I do like them. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And uh, I will do my best to provide links to all these products in the description below. I also include the link to his eBay store so you guys can find out you know, what other stuff he has. He carries a lot of things. He has some uh, uh, fiberglass, BFS rods too, some uh, some reels, some spools, not just bearings as you guys can see here because that's that's mainly the stuff he sent to me. But yeah, he has a lot of cool BFS stuff. So definitely check him out. Once again, Sergey, thank you for the care package and everyone else, thank you for watching my video, The Fish Don't Wait. Make sure you guys tune up all your tackle, you know, swap out some bearings if you guys need to, upgrade, tune, do whatever you need so you guys have an awesome, awesome spring. Peace out.